Jesus Explains Another Assassination Attempt on President Trump and Slaughter of Christians January 4, 2019 Words from Jesus to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Claire began, Thank you, Lord, for giving us hope that we may actually overcome this monster. Please help us to pray with complete faith and trust that you're truly going to answer our prayers. Well, dear ones, arm up. We are headed for a confrontation of monumental proportions. What I wanted to tell you that I'd heard about is that there is a large force of enemy soldiers headed for our border from the south. A very large force. And the Lord has asked me to keep you up to speed and tell you what's been going on. The Lord is taking all the suffering he can get from us to protect our president. Basically, he said there would be an assassination attempt almost every day on our president. I had a dream about the Chinese occupying America. And I believe in the southern US, the Chinese had landed and killed all our soldiers and were taking over the city. It was obvious that all of us with homes would be sentenced to death or forced to move elsewhere. No one was expecting this. It was a total shock. I have had many dreams about Russian, Korean and Chinese occupation in our country. They already own many of our national monuments. At least that's what I've heard. And then there are high fence areas walled off with the United Nations signs in areas near national parks that are now restricted to tourists. And every day brings a new assassination attempt. President Trump was rushed to the underground bunker Wednesday night, January 2nd to 3rd, 2019, as the Marines guarding the White House had been infiltrated by the clay feet, and gunfire broke out as he was going down in the elevator to the bunker. The Secret Service shot and killed one rogue Marine. All the rest were arrested for questioning. It seems that the Russians gave our people intel that there would be an attempt on the President's life from our own Marines, guarding him in the White House. Please pray for President Trump's safety. Before I got the confirmation on this from our military source, Ezekiel was told by the Lord that it was true. I don't think any of us know the great peril we are on the brink of right now, and the information I got within the last hour confirms that. All that needs to happen is that Trump is taken out. Russia won't waste any time on moving on America and neither will China or the North Koreans. The bottom line is that we will be in chaos with the rogue government hellbent on destroying our liberties of the past. I sense we are surrounded by enemy vessels even now and of course all kinds of things inside the country that are being covered up, supplies, equipment and people who are actually hostile. Their plans for a time when war breaks out, they're in place, as well as terror cells who are just waiting for the signal to move. I'm just not secure in thinking we have a lot of time until the rapture. And what is Jesus saying? Basically. We are outnumbered by praying, fasting, sacrificing Satanists. That there is no guarantee of one more year, let alone two or three more years. Lord, we hunger for your words. 
Jesus began, I have just told you, Claire, that I've put my words in your mouth. And the attempt on his life was real, and you can expect that there will be more almost daily. The situation is so desperate. My darling Claire, I know how turbulent and confusing these times have been for you. However, your president's safety is at the head of the list, with traffic children running closely behind. World War III is being held back by a hair's breadth, and I need all your prayers and sufferings like never before. This was not a joyous Christmas not like last year. It couldn't be, because no one in a responsible position in the government or otherwise could sit back. Everyone was actively holding back the Holocaust that is sure to ensue when the dark players gain access. Wednesday night was a close call, and the attempts on the president's life are getting more and more brazen. They are trying things that would boggle your mind to consider. Let's just say that the amount of protection and the variations on protection are monumental, because the efforts are monumental. So much depends on the prosecution and taking out of power those who are subverting your nation. The Satanists are joyfully anticipating the bloodbath and slaughter of Christians, who have for so long limited their activities through prayer. But not so fast, dark ones. I am still the Lord over this nation, and I reward my praying people. That is to say to you, Claire, there is hope. I can see it bouncing off of you, and I know the supreme trial you are going through right now. But I will not let you down. Yes, this message is important. Rally your people to prayer and perseverance. Know that the battle is fierce, the struggles come and go. But there is a faithful remnant standing in the gap for the unsure. And I reward those who are faithful to me, no matter what the risks. I know you are heartsick, but I promise you, everything will turn out well. Trust me, my diamond. Listen to the whisperings of my heart in yours. Stand strong and trust. You will see the glory of the Lord. Don't despair. Please trust me, there are so many dynamics at work that you still do not understand. The Lord bless you and keep you. Let us stand together for our president. Amen.